Hi, this is Trevor and welcome to my blog. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tips and Tricks. What we've got for you this time round is hammering techniques as requested by the Gentleman's Motor Racing Team. How you can use a hammer in different ways to get different desired effects. Hope you enjoy it guys. I've got this very damaged rear door, not only rust, but also dents again. So I've got this massive great big dent here going on. You can uh, see where it's uh, some it's gone into the back of it. Put quite a nice little dent in the back of that. As we move along we can see there's another dent just there picking up in light and a smaller dent there and then we've got a like a crease edge and we've got the most almighty dent here. Hopefully you can see that in the light. Now, big dent like this, quite a large dent, um, not that deep, fairly shallow, but let me get my straight edge on it and I'll show you the extent of the damage. Okay, so we're probably looking at the deepest part. I mean, we've got to be looking at at least 10 millimeters or so of depth there, so pretty severe really and um, the purpose of this video was to just demonstrate a uh, another weighing up technique really rather than just launching in and smashing it around what I'd like to demonstrate in this video is something else that's uh, well worth considering when you're looking at this kind of damage so put your hand over the damage and um, you notice that just above the damage we've got this beautiful curved section of the door so the door sort of bulges out at this stage we've got this lovely radius coming down and uh, the door's also curved the other way as well so it's curved that way then that way and um, so if we analyze the curvature here so you put your hand over the curved section here I mean this applies to any car really, um, we know that it's going to be fairly uniform from this end to that end. So we're tracking down with my hand, it's fairly uniform all the way along until it gets to the large dent. So we've got the big dent there and just above the dent we've got the radius. Well the radius goes to quite a, a point here. Um, quite a sharp bend. You can see that it's starting to go rusty along this area. What's happened is the steel's been bent round at an even harsher angle than it is and uh, it's cracked the paint along so the paint scored along like that which has allowed it to go rusty. So what I'm going to do to try and put some more steel back into this area is to first relieve this crease with a hammer and then we'll see ha uh, what happens to this dent afterwards. So what we need to do is relieve this risen up section first. No sorcery, no trickery here. So um, see I'm rolling the hammer as well. Glance, glancing blows rather than Full on hits. Okay, so all I've done is hit it down. That's all I've done. Let's have a look at the damage again. So before we take a decent look, I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up with some compound. Okay, so the worst of the damage, which is here, has, I would have said, that's that's a 90% improvement. 
easily. Obviously, we've still got these more pointed, shallow dents that have got to be lifted out, but they are minor compared to what we had before. And that's pretty much laying flush now across the panel. And that's just from hitting the creases along the top here to bring the steel back down. So we tap the creases in, the creases straightened out, they put, they pushed tension back into that panel and popped the dent out from this way. So the dent popped back up as the creases were hit back down. If we'd gone in and tried to lift first, we'd have just ended up putting lots of high spots in the panel in this area and it still would have been dented. I can guarantee it till that crease was released. So by releasing that crease first, we've avoided all that unnecessary extra work and bought most of the damage out straight away. Another way of describing how panels can get damaged is I kind of think of it like a wave. So the panel's nice and flat as it would be in the normal profile of the panel and then it gets damaged and it creates a wave in the panel. So we'll say that this is going to be the damaged area so we push that in. So as this comes down you'll see that this area here rises up. And this is exactly what's happened in this panel. So this area here, this area here has been has got creased in. Uh, sorry, creased out. So this has been dented in. So this part's dented in. That's pushed in. This is this is pushed out. And what we've done with the panel hammer is we've knocked the crease back in. So. We've uh, relieved the crease, pushing the panel back in. This has created tension in this area because when this got dented in, it moved the material length up into this area. So by tapping the crease in, we pop this back up. And like I was saying about glancing the panel or skimming the panel, if you go in the direction of the dent, then you're manipulate more of the damaged area back into the panel and uh, move the move the length then of the steel back into the damaged area which is depressed it's uh, shallow dent you've lost you've lost your distance in there because you've gained it up here you relieve your dent you put some distance back into this area and it pops back up and by uh, this kind of skimming glancing action you can have a more it has a more greater effect then on the uh, panel than just pounding it in uh, in a straight line glancing it can give you a different effect something you need to try and get a feel for really it's um, it's something that doesn't come naturally but and it's something that doesn't really make a lot of sense until you do it. And when you do it, you'll see what I mean. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, keep those requests coming in. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing in my next video. Um, it depends probably what I've been doing over the last couple of weeks. Because this video has been shot probably weeks in advance from you watching it. So it depends what I'm going to come up against in the next few weeks. What requests I get in. And I'm sure I can sort some more helpful videos out for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time round. Bye for now.